okay so our next topic is the types of motion in physics so last time we were done with the relative motion rest motion we were done with rest motion motion in one direction we have started the chapter number three so now it's our fourth topic that is the types of motion what is motion motion means a moving body a moving body that is changing its position that is called the motion so motion is having the three types the one type is the rotatory motion so what is rotatory motion rotatory motion a body moving in a axis but in fixed position fixed position like our fan fan example is fan how fan because you can see that this is fan okay so this is like you can say that this is moving into the axis this is moving into the axis but is this is not changing its its position like it's not moving here and here so it's just moving into the axis and in the fixed position it is it's it is you can say that it is in the fixed position so that is the example of the fan okay so now the next type is the vibratory motion vibratory or you can say vibratory as a oscillatory okay so what is oscillatory oscillatory means that a body is moving backward and forward in a constant position a body is moving into backward or you can say that forward but in the constant position like a person is like here it is moving here and it is coming back from this side to this here so the a body is moving here back it is moving forward and it is it is moving backward as well but in a constant position it's it is not changing its direction it is just move it is changing its direction but in a constant position he is not moving from here or here it is moving like here when so where he goes and he is coming from the from that point to the that point so that is called the vibratory oscillatory motion means that a backward and a even the forward moving body but in a constant position okay now the third type that is the linear motion what is linear motion linear motion is also called a translatory motion translatory motion what does it mean a body is moving in a straight line linear means into the straight line a body is moving into the straight line that is called the linear or the translatory motion and linear is having the two types that first one is the circular and second one is the zigzag so what is circular circular means a body is moving in the circular it is moving in the circular okay but linearly okay and a body is moving in the zigzag but linearly okay so that is that was the two types of the linear you can see linear is a translatory motion or the linear is having the two types that is zigzag and the circular and to the vibratory you can say as the oscillatory and the, the first one is the rotatory now let's move toward another topic that is distance so what is distance distance is a path that is followed by a body during its motion if a person is going here to here and it is moving into this this and this and to the this point so this is distance this is distance a body has covered a path a body is covered a path he he has moving the body is moving from here to here so that is the distance that a body has covered and it is a scalar quantity how it is having the magnitude but it's not having the direction that it is moving in the north south east or west we are not known about the about the direction but we are known that uh, about the magnitude that for example a body is having has moved uh, 50 kilometer 
we are we are known with the you can say that magnitude but we are not known about the direction that in which direction a body is moving like in north in west in east in south in which direction so that is a scalar quantity and the unit of the distance is the meter okay now the next topic is the dis displacement what is displacement okay so displacement is a shortest path shortest path that a body has covered like for example this is a path uh, this was a distance now what if i say that uh, a body is moving here to here so it this is a shortest part this is the shortest path that was a distance this is the shortest part we are known that the body is moving into the into the direction that is east we are known about that but in distance we are not known that in which direction body is moving but here we are known that a, a body is moving uh, 20 km and it is the shortest path and it is like moving from the point A to point B and we are known that its direction is that that is east but in this distance we are not known about the direction but we here we are also known about the magnitude as well as the direction so this is the vector quantity and this is the shortest covered path like here you can see that the body has covered a distance about a 50 kilometer but what if i say that a body is moving here from the here so this is this is like moving a body into the shortest path 20 kilometer okay as compared to the 50 kilometer so this is the shortest path so shortest path is that is called the displacement so it so here to here you can say this is a displacement and this is the distance which we are not known about the direction but here we are known about the direction so this is a vector quantity displacement is a vector quantity as well as you can say that the unit of the displacement is the meter okay so today we are done with the types of motion and the difference between the distance and the displacement so in the next video we'll be talking about the speed and the types of speed